that was me who did that. You just need to turn your phone over and we're in business. You just <laughs> turn yourself over like that. We're... Can you hear me? I can, yeah. Yeah. There we I go. Know. That's amazing. It is. I have no idea what changed, but there we are. I know. Um, I know what went wrong. And I am going to take personal responsibility for the mistake. <laughs> It was all, so kind. It's all on me. It was my mistake. I didn't see the fucking... Anyway, I'm not even going to bother to explain it to you. It's a technical yeah. thing. It looked like it was my fault from my end, but that's okay. No, you it's totally on my you side. Have, you can have it. Thank you. Oh, I'm, well able, I'm well able to put my hand up. Um, how are you doing? Oh, pretty good. It looks like it's cold over there in jacuzzi land. <laughs> it is really cold. Um, the is it actually here, cold? It is, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think it was cold I, over there. I'm not exaggerating with this whole garb. Um, the winters can get cold here, especially uh, in the mornings and at night. Okay. Um, we've had like snowstorms and everything, which it's really crazy because moving to the desert where the you know, temperatures in the summer can be up to 110. It just blew my mind that the winters could be so damn cold, you know? And do you get snow? Sometimes. Okay. Um, we've had some serious snowstorms where like roads have closed down. And um, last year, like uh, my husband had to cancel their, their New Year's Eve gig because it was impossible for for people to get to the to the bar you know okay it, it was it was all snowed and roads were like dangerous and so yeah i it can fucking love snow i love how it brings everything to a standstill and just causes that I bit of chaos that. and just wrecks everything it's great <laughs> it's it is it's wonderful and there's um there's this thing when everything's covered in snow like everything looks like bigger or and the sound is really different like you're almost like in a in a tunnel or something i don't know how to explain it but like i think there's a scientific explanation for that something about like the sound is absorbed in the molecules of the snow i don't know but it does feel different when you're like quieter when you're out in the snow yeah and we have this mountain here maybe you can see part of it there's actually a little bit of snow on it maybe it's too bright it looks like but that mountain is, it's Mingus Mountain, it's glorious. Um, kind of surrounds the valley where I live in. Yeah, when that nice. mountain is covered, yeah. When it's covered in snow, it looks way closer and 10 times more giant. It's so weird. It's like, whoa, look at the mountain, mm. you know? Yeah, well, it just brings, we had a storm here a couple of years ago and the country just came to a standstill. It was, the schools were off. And it was yeah. like the, there was no food left in the shops. We we're just totally not prepared wow. for snow here. So we totally overreact. And the whole country, basically, it was permission for every, the whole country to shut down. I, I just love the anarchy and the carnage of that. And, um, and it, it's quieter because there's not as many cars on the road. There's not as much traffic. There's not as much movement. Yeah. People are inside by the fire. And it's... There isn't the usual routines. The world is unrecognizable from the world that you're looking at every day. You know, it's covered in this white, beautiful, I don't know. I, uh, maybe I just have told associations from when I was a kid and that going in one Monday morning and told to go back, it was, I think it was after Christmas. And we went, I, went, I had to go, I hated going back to school. And then yeah. on that fucking, on that, Monday morning, we went in, and by three o'clock the afternoon, the principal of the school came in and goes, "Okay, everybody needs to go home now and don't come back until next week." Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Happiness. Yeah, that's so simple, right? Just no more school, yay! No more going to school. No more going to work. Just cancel the fucking work thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's such a such a dirty joke that you have to make a living to survive in this 
dream, <laughs> you know. It's bullshit. It's, it's yeah. You know, yeah. Really, but it, it's the way it goes. Um, for some stories, you know, you got to work for it. And um, I'm really down to, like, I don't give a shit. Like, the minimal, like, you know, when everything falls away, there's no more, like, oh, I want a bigger house or I want to travel. It's just, like, you know, just, like, oh, shit. <laughs> we got to get some groceries because we got to, you know, you know, whenever we get down low, I can say like, oh, I'll just fast for this week, but we got a kid. <laughs> well, who's going to, who's going to be, I, I'm totally kidding. It's not, it's not it's that not, bad. It's not that bad. Although it's yeah. not quite close at times, <laughs> but it's just right. kind of funny. And it just goes how it goes. But yeah, the difference now for me is that um god money used to be such a huge huge source of stress mm. um a source of like arguments and fighting and um with you know my husband about you know what the fuck and who's responsible for what and all that and honestly i mean the situation whatever is not important at all but the this is probably the the tightest financial situation I've ever been in. And it's like, I just, it's a freaking, I just laugh at it. I have no worries about it. I have no, um, no way of knowing how it's going to go. If it's going to strike the lottery or if it's just going to get worse or, or not, I don't know. But the joy in that or the freedom in that is just, all right. So it is, there's no mm. thoughts about it. And the irony is, like the cruel cosmic jokes that appear in, in one's life is that being in this tight state, like all these things are like breaking down and going wrong. Like um, just had my car break down into stupid fucking expensive Range Rover that cost hundreds of dollars to fix. And then like our septic tank is overflowing with shit. And it's like, oh, well, our backyard is covered in shit. Oh, well, let's go in the hot tub. Until there's always money. fucking something <laughs> that's what i'm saying around the house there's always something to fucking give me a pain always in the hole something. yeah <laughs> there is actually always something like you know some sort of a pain in the hoop yeah um yeah, yeah. I, um uh I just got the notion to fucking because we've been emailing a little bit and then we chatted the last day I haven't really done mm -hmm. a podcast now for four weeks. I have one plan for this Thursday, but I'm really, um, just the vibe wasn't there. And then the vibe is just there all of a sudden. And I sent you a message. I had nothing to yeah. say to you, like, though. What's that? I had nothing to say to you. It was just, oh, fuck it, sure. Look, we might as well have a chat and see what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought, too, you know? Yeah. Um I honestly, it's, it's what got me out of bed. <laughs> today's a, today's a Martin Luther King holiday, which everything's closed. Okay. I just wonder why, like Martin Luther King, like, yeah, he was somebody. <laughs> don't ask like, questions that, when you're getting a day off work. <laughs> yeah, take the, don't take ask. The day off. <laughs> yeah, whatever day it is, Christmas I'll and Martin, it. Martin Luther and all, uh, <laughs> Jesus and Martin Luther and all of them. <laughs> They deserve the day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, oh, fuck's sake, you'd never complain about a new holiday. You don't get many holidays over there anyway, will you? Sure you don't? I, I don't know. I think I think there's like 10 or 12 yearly, you know, um, you know, when you have like the full-time job, blah, 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 they say, these are your holidays. And I think there's, there's like 10 or 12 mm. in a year. And that's like, Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, Martin Luther King. Uh, I think President's Day is one as well, but okay. not all places close down for that. Some do. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, what other things we got going? Uh, uh, Veterans Day is another one. Um, Labor Day in September. <laughs> yeah, mm. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, what was I going to say to you? I was half curious that one thing that we kind of touched on the last time and it was um, 
it's just something to talk about, I suppose, or not talk about. But just this idea, you kind of had said to me in an email that uh, you thought it had fallen away and now it's fallen away or something like that. Is that is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah, that's that's what I said. That's fair to say. And um, I know, and like that's just a sentence that you yeah, wrote no, no, down. It doesn't mean anything either. But I'm just curious about the it. The, the the difference. If I can really explain it, how it's experienced here was when when I was discovered um, non duality. You know, to call call it something. It's like everything just kind of blew wide open I was like oh yeah I get it like oh my god this was the missing piece you know um sort of speak and 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 everything just started to happen you know like the tricky thing is that there's there's nobody there either way but it doesn't matter but so when it before it was like um you know watching as much stuff reading stuff and then there's this uh this I get it. I mean, conceptually, intellectually, it was just pure gold. And it's like, that's it. Um, and hold on, let me let my dog I'll just say. <laughs> Dogger. Um, but there was, there was still this a character that sort of had an investment in itself like it cared how how it came across it cared how um how how you know to say the right things in the right way and uh and and that's not the only thing but there was still some sort of attachment to something that was important here you know even though it was understood the the the, the unrealness of everything the, the pointlessness that nothing matters that but when something switched for reals or i mean that's words are so bleh, but um it's like there was this 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 void you know, like, it was just like, holy shit. And um, it was also seen that it's, everybody is not there. Um, the The personal relationships kind of fell away. Like, um, uh, like, I, like, I have to, oh God, it's hard to explain it. Like, especially the close ones, you know, like my husband and my son, it's like, there's no more like I, uh, cause uh, huh, it's impossible to talk about. So well, people who believe they're people that they're really there and that, you know, life means something and life's going somewhere and they're making choices and they're actual doers. The whole game is set up for others to project that onto you. You know, you kind of keep each other real by saying, yes, you're a person and you're here and what you say and do matters and you kind of validate my existence by calling me your husband or your wife and and when all that is seen as just fluff it's like fairy tale stuff it's not real it's just it's there's nothing there except whatever this is doing whatever it's doing it's it's kind of shocking at first i mean um but then the game's over it's like that person can't make me here anymore just by by saying this isn't this isn't like you you shouldn't do that Giselle you know like what do you you know and then Giselle thinks oh shit I'm 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 doing something wrong or I sh I'm acting weird or whatever it, it, all that is just like there's nobody here and um am I making any sense <laughs> well, I'm following what you're saying. I, okay. I, I'm following. Ish. What I found when I ish. <laughs> ish, no ish. I am following what you're saying. So I can't remember what you're saying now, but I, <laughs> okay, I was following. <laughs> I'd have to, have to, maybe it can. Forget uh, about it. Forget <laughs> it. 
Um, okay. Let me try this. Um, when I thought that, that I had dropped the eye or fallen away, um, people who are still eyes, and this is all nonsense when I think about it because there is no eyes anywhere, but, but the, the, the belief that it's, it's a person, I mean, it's the most solid thing there is in this world. You know, since you're born and every, it, people are people and their story is real and it makes them who they are and makes life what it is. And so when, when one of the, the under, intellectual understanding of that not being real and when that was present, anything else in life could still hold me in that. Like, sure, if I'm all alone and I understand that, it's like, yeah, of course. But then you go out and you, you know, you have a family dinner and then all of a sudden it's like, you're there because that's what they're doing. You know what I mean? Like the projection of, they're projecting to you who you are, you know, because that's how the relationships are built. That's how, how it apparently or, you know, delusionally flows when it really fell away, when it was like, just th that didn't happen anymore. Like there was just emptiness everywhere. So the same family dinner will look exactly the same as it did before, but there's this, there's not a center here anymore that's being um, a person. And at the same thing is seeing that nobody else out there is a person. So there was moments of feeling like a little crazy and I went through this phase before I could not listen or even hear the word non-duality at all for, for months. And then all of a sudden I needed to hear whatever it was coming from just to kind of stabilize and, and, and not feel like I'm losing my shit, you know? And then, and this isn't something how that, that, that I did or it means anything, but the story here apparently went on to, to just settling into this, space of um of being a character in a movie or in a dream or in a, in a play um it's like there's you, you know the actor has a script and the story is going to go however it's going to go there's no control in it you know and mm. things happen you know apparently um and the difference is that it is seen that we're all we're all the same source playing different actors and the, the same source that's being the actors is also being the stage that's played in. It's also being the props. It's also being the thoughts of the characters, the emotions. It's all the same thing. So sometimes, I mean, I used to be an actress, so this is kind of a, a, a relatable metaphor. When you really get into your role and, and, and you kind of forget your acting, you know, you still feel what your character's feeling. Um, and there's those moments where you kind of forget, and those are beautiful moments, you know? Um, and that's very um, comparable to what life feels like these days. Like, it's kind of, it's kind of, for me, it's, there's moments of really like feeling weird and, and I don't know what the right word is, but almost like, shit, I wish I didn't know the truth when, when you're acting and, and, and you, you know that you're, <laughs> that none of it's real and you're just an actor, that you're not a real person, you know, with this real stuff but nobody else around you does and you just have to play along and, and and it feels very very empty at times but then sometimes a storyline will appear that you get caught up in and and somewhere in this place you know that it's not real you know that there's not a separate person there but the storyline can just enrapture you and take you on this ride of emotions and 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 you know, whatever thoughts, but none of it's true. It's just that doing its dance, you know, yeah. but I did, I, it's, it just becomes so it's like the end of the game. You know, it's like, it's like knowing, finding out that Santa Claus isn't real. And you go uh, like, app apparently, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. And then you go like, damn, that really, really sucks. But then there's also a relief, you know? Like, well, I don't have to worry about being bad or good. I don't have to, you know, uh, worry about judgments from him and whatever. Oh, shit, I'm running out of battle. You there? Yeah. yeah. I am, yeah.
but um, you have to, you know, you're playing along while everybody else still believes in Santa Claus. And you don't want to be the one to say he's not real. I mean, you, would you ever tell a kid who's, and, and plus, I witnessed this with my kid, you know, like he found out at some point that Santa Claus wasn't real and that was traumatic. It was like so much tears and everything. But then, you know, you, life goes on and you, and you go on with, with no Santa Claus in your life. But mm. some of his friends still believed in it and he just played along with them. Mm. And some other kids would tell their, his friends, like, they're, he's not real, he's not real. And he would be like, I mean, that's just his character. He would be like, well, how do you know he's not real? You know, <laughs> you know, like mm. just, you don't, you find out when you're ready, if you ever find out and it doesn't matter either way, but yeah. And the finding out thing, though, is uh, it's not really a finding out either. Sure it's not. Or uh, What would you say when I say it's not really a finding out? It's only a kind of an apparent finding out. Yeah. Because there's no, it, nothing there that can find out. It just, everything yeah. continues. I'm just curious about yeah, when I say absolutely. that to you. It's like... Um, It's fucking absolutely shocking and, and takes, takes the ground out from under your feet and, and just destroys everything, everything, just annihilated. And at mm. the same time, nothing changes. It's completely ordinary and, and this, but this, this is infused whereas before it was like very you know concrete material uh space time future past present and all that kind of solidity and people and past you know relationship that still looks the same but it's it's like it's seen that it's not solid it's just it's like a dream and it's this this dream is infused with complete awe that it's even like what complete awe just like oh my god and then at the same time it's it's like for me anyway how this is experienced here it's also infused with stop it just make it stop like you take everything from me you take everything meaning purpose reality you take it it's all gone i mean it was never it's there but when you see it it's like it's all gone and then like fucking take me out too you know like why so it goes from this like for me this is really like if there's any sort of torture in this which i think there is is um is seeing the honest and not knowing what the fuck any of this is and why i mean there is no why maybe maybe there is who knows and at the same time, just being in it, it's like, and being in it for like, who knows how much apparent time and, and what else you, you know, it's like, a, like you find out the magic trick and then you're forced to see the magic trick over and over and over and over. And sometimes you're in the mood and the magic kind of captures you and you're like, oh, this is a beautiful magic trick. I can't believe even though I don't know how it works, but I can't believe it, you know? You know, it's, and then there's, there's times where I'm like, God damn it, I fucking just, I'm done, you know? I don't, I don't care about the fucking magic trick anymore, you know? So mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, but go, uh, what, you, when you're saying the magic trick, you're saying the, um, because one moment you're, um, lost in making the coffee it's not like you're there suddenly going the coffee is great or you know you're just yeah. lost you're lost in making coffee and then suddenly you get this blow to the stomach about holy fuck yeah but it's not like i'm just is that what you mean by the magic trick this oh fuck what the fuck is this what the fuck yeah is, what the fuck what yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think, I think this is the utterly unknoble thing, though, isn't it? Does it I mean, it, 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 yeah, yeah. It's even pointless even saying it's utterly unknowable. Yeah. 
and you know like so, yeah right <laughs> sometimes um a lot of times actually being alone that's why i sit in my hot tub so much and um and and i you know honestly tequila is just this thing that loosens sitting in a hot tub drinking tequila alone is like it's it, it's like it's just boundless it's infinite it's like just that space where and sure, sometimes there's waves of like, Jesus, I've been here four hours. Now I'm kind of bored. Like, what's next? I mean, that's very human. That shit. But, but in that space of just being like, it is pretty epic and, and like, wow. Um, and then there's other scenes that appear, like going to work or like, you know, people, and you have to interact with, with, with your, you know, workers and, and do the work. And it's that, and people think like, uh, this work is important and we're helping kids and um and you have to fill these forms like this because they're important and 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 that is what i i have i f i mean the stuff is getting done there's nobody there doing it but that's like people are still believing in the magic trick and you're you have to play along because that's where you're at and that's what's happening but there's yeah. this the presence that's that the that takes over this character is like, I don't know how much longer I can do this, you know? Like, uh, I, that's why I really enjoy like, you know, having talks with others that are in this. I mean, it's not like you have to talk about this all the time, but it makes it, it's like, you don't have to, you don't have to hold something up that's not there anymore. And, and, you're not, you, I don't do that at work either. I don't do that anywhere, but you're kind of, and again, this is just what's happening. Nobody's actually controlling it, but you're kind of obligated. So you don't end up in the loony bin or something like that to hold up their, you know, illusion and, and their, you know, their real realness as a person and, 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 and in the work and in the choices and in their gods or whatever, you know, until maybe maybe life until you don't you a, until, 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 you, you, until you don't well you might turn like, around and not who knows that's the fucking thing yeah. you know all the thoughts about it make it totally in a way yeah that frustration kind of is will come and go and then the next thing you're kind of going fuck this or you're totally lost in the daily task of doing the Absolutely. job and playing the game yeah and it goes back and forth and that's the other thing that kind of changes there's all kinds of thoughts about it, you know, and right now I think what we're talking about is, is thoughts about it or mm. how, how it apparently is experienced. But, um, the thoughts aren't, there's no thought, you know, they just like background music. Um, there's no, no thought that's more important or less important than another one. There's no thought that really sticks. There's no, sometimes thoughts can create feeling, you know, and I think that's just a body mind mechanism, but there's nobody there that's really like, involved in it like uh, affected by it or or um needing it to to be any difference or you know everything is included though isn't it in a way it is. in the, in the it sense is. so feeling shit is feeling great feeling yeah. not great feeling a, a lot a thought of full-on thoughts it's there there isn't any it's difference not, yeah but there there isn't really a difference only subtle it, and it's it just doesn't, the stickiness, maybe. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to stick. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm what good. I find uh, funny and frustrating at times is that, you know, there isn't any one way it looks or appears. Like, there is, there is the, the trick, you know, and the trick is, is seen as for what it is. And then that's it. But but seeing the trick and, and, and it, it doesn't change anything about how, how it looks, you know, like, um, and there seems to be this thing, and this is just my, this character's blah about this is like, you know, in the whole non-duality scene, there's like these, these, um, these sort of gurus, not, not, you know, not really self-imposed gurus, but gurus nevertheless, um, who are saying this and that in this way and that way. And it's like, 
yeah, sure. That's how it is. And absolutely, maybe fucking totally not. You know, it's like, wait, 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 just, you know, it's all made up anyway. So, so it becomes like, there, it's, it's everything. So it doesn't look one way or the other. It doesn't mean if you lose your eye, if that's even a thing that it's going to look like that and that's how you should think and that's how you'll feel or it's, it's everything. And so there's a, there's a majority in a certain field, you know, that, that say the same things and all that, but maybe it is that way and maybe not actually it is that way and also not, you know, and, um, I've been playing around just for entertainment on, on these non-duality groups and I found myself to to get kind of feisty and annoyed because it's like the love and the bliss and the this and it's like man if only you know it's like it's equally as fucking dark and 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 alone and and frightening and and pointless and and that's also beautiful and you know equally experienced so i you know when i when i throw my two cents out there i have to you know realize okay well this particular population might know all that but they they, they want to keep that out for whatever fucking reason mm -hmm. they want it all like colorful and blissful and love and all that and it's like all right but I, I just like, no, it's not. Why are you gonna exclude anything? I'm like, okay, well, fuck it. It's just a fucking group. It's just a, the game that's being played. So if, if that game is frustrating you, then step on another board, you know, <laughs> or something. But, but that's, that's the other thing that's frustrating is that continued desire to wanna play the game because it's the only thing that sort of um, sparks, uh, sparks, uh, I don't know, aliveness or something. I mean, there's so many moments that I feel just like the, the nothingness, you know, it's just nothing. Mm. And, and then, and it's, it's just, I want to say it's horrible, but it's, it's also, it's, it can be, but it's also just nothing. And it, and it's, what's the point of nothing? nothing <laughs> what's the point of everything also also nothing but when you're playing in the everything it feels like it's something you know and and that's addicting well it is God, what it is even... though it, which is that expression that's used very often but it, it, it is yeah. it, it is what it is so if there's frustration then it's frustration and boredom is fucking boredom and feeling tired is feeling tired and feeling energetic and fucking free Mm -hmm. And all mm -hmm. that is, it's all, it's all. It's all, yeah. Yeah, it's fucking all, you see. I, I don't know, yeah. I mean, I think the magic trick thing or this, this new, this realization that kind of seems to be you would think that a, in normal language, somebody learns something at a moment in time, and that then becomes a piece of knowledge that's referred to. And whereas, would you say that this is the total, I don't know, like, to me, this is the total opposite of that. It's like, it's unplugged and maybe, yeah. The unplugging yeah. is constant. They, you know, I like the analogy of water. You know, the the plug is pulled from the sink, and just the water is gone. All the bullshit's gone. But then somehow there's fucking water there. So that there's this um, mm. this idea. You know, it's not like anything is known, or there's a referral that can be said. Just so it happens that okay, now it appears we're talking about this and. That's what's happening. But still, no, I, I mean, I, I totally get what you're saying, like, as well. It's, it's fucking... It's very useless. Yeah. You could never say... Uh, you, it, the wonderful thing is, I don't think the words that this is worthwhile for anybody to know would ever come out of my mouth. And not know is the wrong word, but this realisation. 
Maybe you could say it's just life. What you get, life. It's what you get, life. It's not an antidote to living. It's not an antidote no. to fucking a hangover. It's not an antidote <laughs> to running for 20K and not having pains in your legs. It's not an antidote for not wanting to run. It's not an antidote for loving chicken wings and coffee and fucking all the bad things in life. It's not a ticket. It's not a free ticket. It's life. What you get is, what you get is life. And for better or for worse, whatever way, the character, character even, like, the big thing that should be said, and I know it's said, and it was always said, is that this is not known anywhere. What this vacuum of fucking emptiness talking is not known anywhere. It's not known. Nobody knows this. And so then where do you go with this? Still the person, go, I would have always gone back to go, this person must know. And even though yeah. said this is not known, when you're a person, That's, you still yeah. feel that the knowledge is there. It's not knowledge. It's not words. It's, it's fucking a whole lot though. And it's not even that. So, <laughs> but I suppose <laughs> I hate the idea of empirical knowledge. Maybe if I was passionate about anything, this idea that somebody knows something and yeah. are even given the subtle impression that, that it's, it's known. Now, words will come out the way it will come out and things will be said the way they're said and who cares, but still... Yeah, absolutely. Out of a kind of a passion for that. Well, good for that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Oh, I don't, I don't really. I don't really either. But do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about? So what we're talking about is absolute unknown. So then where do you go with that? Like, what's there to be said? And it's not, you can't even say it's unknown because then it's making it the subject. So what, where do you go, Giselle? What do you say about? There's nowhere to go. <laughs> See, yeah. I, I, hmm. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I have this, you know, like I have friends and stuff that are, I see them like being successful um, in their lives with the things that they love, things that I used to love, like uh, like being being an actress and and being able to to be successful at that. And and you know, in, in the past, I used to like see their successes, and and there was a, a tinge, well, a heavy tinge of jealousy at times mm. and like, shit, why isn't it working like that for me? Or, uh, you know, are they more talented or whatever? And, and, um, and like, oh, maybe inspired to, to, to try a different way or to do something else, whatever. Um, it's, that's been stripped completely void of any of that. And, you know, and I see their successes and I'm, I'm happy for them and I, whatever, but it's so empty. It's so, it just means nothing. I, and, and, and to them it does. And that's, that's great. I guess what I'm trying to say is I've had moments where I almost miss that because this emptiness that is felt about everything, everything is just like, it's just so, so, it sounds like a paradox, but it's just so heavy at times. How can emptiness be heavy? It can't, only in the reflection of, of those who are full, you know? And, and then you feel like, I miss feeling that fullness, even if that fullness was like horrible feelings, like jealousy or, or thinking like I'm wasting my life or, you know, um, because when there are successes, you know, the, the pendulum swings to the other side and there's this rush of like, yes, it's working. And it just feels good, you know? Yeah. And now it's just, all of that is just, it's just empty. It's just nothing. And it's, and, and it's, I don't feel separate from that. I mean, it's, I, I don't know. I, I know that, that, that is that appearing as that. And, and it's appearing as this here, having those feelings or thoughts about it. Um, but it's just life. 
You well, know. I've got the huge fucking creative frustration, humongous creative frustration that nothing, I'm not doing anything. But it's funny, it's, don't, uh, it's just, <laughs> I'm not doing anything about that. <laughs> All that's happening, there's a bit of frustration about it, which, and uh, so, but I know that, you know, I do need some sort of, my, well, this is a bit of a story, but I do like to have a project that I'm stuck yeah. into, some creative, energetic fucking thing. It's a kind of a flow feeling. And that's, I think that's just a creative flow happening. And you can kind of go, that's nice when that happens. Yeah. And when it's creative flow is not happening, it's fucking frustrating and shit's not happening. And it's, so I don't know if that's what you're talking about at all, actually, but. It, it um, is, it's, that's kind like of. You're an artist, you're that art creative energy vibe. That's always going to fucking be a pain in your hole. Like if you find, you know, you're always, that artistic energy moves i think it, well for me personally i think it moves around in the body and if it doesn't start doing some sort of a making something writing something it's kind of it, well it can stagnate like water can stagnate on the ground and not go anywhere and then water can flow do you know what i mean so but when it's there on the ground yeah, the dirty I, old puddle it doesn't i don't know it is that's that there, yeah. this is very very yeah that's that's right but it's, it's it's story you know and it's just a story like this about stagnation and the energy has to flow um oh it is yeah totally <laughs> yeah, yeah it is yeah because you know there's it's just all that is just it's just not a story that 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 is true anymore mm. you know it, it can it can appear like somebody else is having that experience and stuff and mm. but it, but it is seen and it's just that's just what's happening there there's there's that story happening and and it's it's not true but but it's it's also true and so the things that yeah mm. it's there's the, the story there's no story about anything anymore and mm. and when stories appear all around as they do it's just it's just seen as that as a story. So there's no push or pull like, Oh shit, I do have to do something with this energy or else I'm going to lose it. You know, it's mm. just, that's not true. It's just, it's just done. Mm. It's everything everything it's is done. a story though. Everything is a story. Every single thing that we've said here is a complete story. Yeah. An utter, an, utter, an absolute story. But, <laughs> yeah. Completely and utterly a story. Yeah. So, it's not a very good story. You see, that's <laughs> go, this is gold. This is, yeah, you know, um, you know, s stories are so well, yeah, that's what the dreams are made of, right? These stories, and and that's also kind of an interesting uh perspective or experience of of life is when you see a story acting up. Or coming up and sometimes you know like horrible stories that like the, the family dramas the person who like you know quit their job and is, is now like you know doing drugs and um i have 10 percent left you know like there's so much involvement and and, and talk about it and emotions about it like that's all done here. It's just, I mean, you're, if it's, if it's happening and I might say whatever I say or, but it's, it's like, again, it's from that perspective of it's you're on stage and none of it's real and you're just playing your part, but you don't get caught up because there's also the, 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 the knowingness that there is no separation, that this is all, there's no character that actually went into it. It's just like, this is just this appearing as this right now. And there's no, no more in personal investment in any of it. How anything's received, how, how anything's played out. Um, so there's a lot less, there's no fear. That's the other thing, you know, there's no fear. Like, I mean, I've actually thought of 
doing these jobs that in the past I would never do because, you know, I have a college degree and what my family thing. But, you know, the other day I was like at, at Burger King and I'm like, and they says help wanted. And I'm like, you know, working here is probably would be a lot more fun than, than where I'm working. And, and the only reason, you know, just fun, whatever. And that's just what I thought about it. Mm. And then the story is like, well, why don't you? Well, because I can't afford to take that pay cut, you know, but if they paid us what I was getting paid, then fuck it. I'd be working at Burger King. You know? mm. Well, it is kind of paradoxical though. I mean, the emptiness you're talking about because, um, also it's full of everything is this you yeah. know what i mean by that uh, i do that, yeah. um and within say the total lack of control then anything is possible so you know when you were saying fear doesn't happen or there's a sort of a kind of a anxiety fear and then there's a natural fear for reaction to fucking tiger or whatever do you know what i mean so it's, yeah. there, isn't, there isn't the yeah stories weaved into stories about everything maybe the the silliness is seen through but life is still a fucking this is it's, you get full on life like this is yeah those existential yeah. fears or fears about you know what the what's going to happen to the character in the story or how the character is seen by other characters in the story th those those are all gone i mean like uh, losing, you know, your husband because you're, uh, he doesn't like how, I mean, the, all that shit is, it's just done, you know, it's just understood that it just goes how it goes and it's really not going anywhere. But the, yeah. the physical fear of the organism dying, I mean, those, like when I was on the plane, um, when we were in Miami, on the way to Miami, there was insane amount of turbulence where, where the, the stewardesses had to sit down mid-flight and buckle up and and there was like an immense amount of fear and tension and nausea happening here yeah uh, because it's like it's just a physical reaction to what you're saying a natural threat to the organism that is that is there and and that was very real but it was the thoughts of like Oh, oh no, we're gonna die, and I can't, I don't want to die. I mean, that just wasn't there. It was just pure physical, like, ah, fuck, what's gonna, we're going down, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's kind. Of, you see, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, and I don't know what I'm going <laughs> to what I'm going to say, and I don't know how I'm going to feel about X, Y, or Z. Just yeah. the, the sense of and it's possible but that can be any i don't know i mean it's just there isn't a, a, a positive it's not like see maybe i'm just conscious of this idea that this is, can be perceived as a gain and well for me there's no idea that this this is a gain that somehow um fear is gone or anxiety is gone i don't know i, I couldn't tell you what the fuck is happening but that may happen yeah it's just that it may, may, may not last, or maybe, maybe you could say that, but even that, like, seems a bit story filled. The whole thing, yeah. Like, see, I just don't know about anything. I'm getting a gawk your house there. Yeah, so I, I gotta plug in because the battery's running low, so I have to. Yeah, some nice pictures on the wall. Oh. <laughs> I was able to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I don't know how much can. What 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 else you know what can, what can be said? Oh yeah. shit! I just lost it. Wait. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. See, it's all different. Yeah, it's interesting. Everything. It's all very interesting. Every. Just what can be said? Yeah. Nothing can be said. Yet <laughs> things are said. We did a pretty pretty good job of nattering about nothing. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know, you know when you um, what was I gonna say? You were kind of saying, "Oh, this needs to be said in the right way, or not right way." I don't ever get the impression. I remember chatting to you before. You never really spoke like that. That there was a correct way to say talk about this. 
or not oh. the correct way to talk about this. I think the words do seem to be similar, though. They seem to yeah. come across. You could say the voice box sounds are similar when this is seen. You yeah. know, you could say that, but I don't know either what the fuck that means. I think when I was when I said that before about um, saying it the right way, it was more like an internal thought process that was happening yeah. because like, like for example, like one of these speakers say there, there's no experience or something like that. Like there's no such thing as experience. And then I, I would find myself saying like the experiences and I'm like, then, then those words of the, the person who really knows what it's about uh, saying that it's not an experience the, that thought would enter my head so I would say I mean it's not really an experience but uh you know what I mean and and now it's it's it doesn't matter it's just it doesn't matter they're just words yeah. and and you know what does that even mean it's not an experience I fucking hell what does that mean I mean it's not an experience okay it's not anything it's not a knowable thing so we can't really say anything about it but then we do and and it it shows up these conversations are filled with whatever words they're filled with you know and then it just yeah. disappears and who remembers words i don't know maybe some words are remembered some but none of them matter yeah you know, none of them are right or wrong i think you kind of can resonate to hit that word but i think you can kind of go i kind of go when I hear some people talk and I kind of go, okay, I think I know, I think I can relate to those words. Yeah. Or, or they seem to say, they just seem to sit with me sure. or they can kind of hit home. But then other times I just go instantly go, um, okay, that's great. I just don't, that's. Uh, and and it's, not, <laughs> it's not any, it's not any different than uh, like, it doesn't make any difference at all. It doesn't make any difference a certain, whatsoever. A preference in a certain type of music, like, oh, I, can, I can't, you know, listen to, uh, I love it when, you know, these stories are told in rap, but I can't stand it when I hear it in a country song. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's no, no different than, than that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, I think maybe, I used to believe, I think there might be energetically a feeling of, a slight difference if if you hear somebody describing this in the trying to convince themselves or convince somebody else yeah. then it seems to have a different vibe it seems to have a different vibe whether that's true or not but i mean it's words are actually are make oh, yeah. <laughs> make no difference whatsoever it's wonderful exactly. though but you see then the freedom is that anything can be said but it seems like certain types of words are going to be said it seems like it seems like the words that people say seem to be similar let's just say a yeah. certain type of wording but you know I, I used to think i'd fucking say anything and then no it seems like the words you end up with the words like empty full or you end <laughs> your emptiness but it's not like it's you can unknowable you yeah can say I mean, that because it's yeah, everything is this is not noble. So then it's we're going horrible. around the circle. What's noble is chicken wings and beer and tequila. <laughs> and chewing the cud and whatever. I don't know. Yeah. It's not an attainment anyway, is it? I don't think it's an attainment. This uh -uh. thing that we appear to be talking about. It's not even a thing like, just seems to be a bit of a conversation. But I used to believe that there was something that there was non-duality but then i don't know i used to always kind of go what are you talking about though but yeah. that was mm, it's very interesting because in the end it's an apparent realization suddenly a character finds out it's a character and that's what the character seems to be saying and feeling or whatever sensing or it's yeah. sensed sensing sensing is not being argued with. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> sensing is not being argued with. with. <laughs> sensing yeah, is sensing happening. Though. Sensing is the new non-duality. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking non-duality. Jesus. 
There's this sensing speaker I want to go hear in uh, Ireland. I hear he's really good. Is that he's, really? He's a sensing speaker, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck, yeah. You know, you listen to him, you really sense. You really, awesome. really, yeah. Yeah, you just sense. You like, just know he's talking through his hole. You're just gone. You're just... You know, you know, you know he's talking through his hole. That's <laughs> his, this vacuum hole of fucking bullshit. Pure bullshit. That was always the case. That <laughs> um, yeah. So, have you any creative activities planned? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. No. Um, something that's uh, appeared in the story, which is kind of fun. Um, you know, I did this show, The Death Monologues, and I and that that was a great experience during that time. And it's I put it now in book form. Um, yeah, I, I sent it to you. So anyway, yes, I, did, yeah. um, I I I got tired of doing it for a while. You know, I did it for a few years, the show, and and I thought I would love. I would love to watch somebody put this show on, just to sit in the audience and just watch somebody yeah. do the show. And and ha I, no preference how they do it, you know, what they can change the story however they want, but I just would find that entertaining. And it appears that somebody uh, in town is looking for a um, kind of risk riskier theater play to put on. now what's riskier than death right so so my friend who's involved with this theater group says um i know this playwright who wrote this play and, and and they were totally thrilled about it so i sent it to them and it, they might put it on in may so so maybe that'll happen that's very cool but, yeah i have nothing to do with it i mean this is out of my hands it's already written and done and it's in their hands but yeah. that would just be a, a fun night out <laughs> yeah that was when you stood up on the stage isn't it doing your play yeah. That's, you stood up on your own, doing your yeah. play. Yeah. That's a fucking brave thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you're a ham for attention, it's the best, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, all eyes are on me and only me. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever takes it on in that local theatre will be delighted then if they do get the possibility yeah. of doing that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, theater, fucking hell. Mm, scary shit, that. What? Did you ever get scared doing that on stage when you had to prepare for that and then go performance? Anxiety? Yeah, the, the for, oh, yeah. The first show that I did, I mean, this was like four years in preparation. I mean, not, not, not constantly working on it, but writing it in spurts and, and then... Um, the I, I did it the opening night was here in town and it had gotten a lot of attention it, I was invited to perform it in one of like the biggest theater festivals in New York and that kind of thing so um we had like the first opening night it was sold out which uh, that's not huge but like 120 people or something like that and um everybody was uh putting uh raising money so I can go to New York to perform it there because yeah they invite you and it's all great and fantastic but you have to pay for for your way there and everything so anyway full house first time ever performing this and uh the director you know says her opening comments and then the lights go down and i was standing like right backstage ready to go on as as the director's talking i was never in my life so scared shitless and nervous i was really really afraid that i was going to pass out back there because my heart was jumping out of my chest my hands were numb i was sweating and i started to see the little black dots and i'm like if i don't go on in like the next yeah. three seconds i'm just gonna faint that's how i've never i mean there's always that, that nervousness before you go on stage i mean I think if you don't have that, then then you should be doing something else. But but that intensity of it was like, oh my god! And then I just walked on, and it just happened. It was like I don't I don't remember like having to get through the nervousness. I don't any of that. It just I walked on, and it just went. You know. 
swept like, away. Oh. Yeah. 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 But yeah, what? that's fucking fascinating. No, I just, I nearly, I tried to do it for a year. And I tried to do a comedy thing for a year. Yeah. So we've talked about this before, but I, the, in the end, the standing up, I was just, I, oh, I was sick for a week beforehand. Even if I was just <laughs> doing it in front of five people, I was sick for a week. And then wow. I did this, I did this comedy routine in front of eight people. And then the following week, I had to come back and do the same comedy routine with a few tweaks in front of the same eight people. So they knew what I was going to say. I found right. that impossible. Yeah. The feel after is totally spontaneous. It's totally free and it either happens or it doesn't. So then the idea of trying to orchestrate it just killed the, for me anyway, killed that freedom, but that's not, that, uh, that was just the way I looked upon it, as opposed to the reality of it. That's the way I looked upon the, that yeah. all, that it was bad enough that I was doing this, but then the fucking having people to pretend, or I don't know. <laughs> and then I tried to do the same, doing a monologue. I had to do monologue as part of my course. And so I was just too, it was too much, too sick doing it. Too, yeah. oh, I couldn't, I couldn't muscle through that feeling. Even as you were doing it? No, when it happened, it was fine. So mm -hmm. the few minutes of doing it once, it was the build-up. I couldn't bear the build-up. Yeah. That it, it's the worst. There was just nothing else going on in my mind. Even if there was everything else going on, it was fully present in my body, feeling the anxiety all the time. And then in my head, constantly thinking about it. So for me, the 15 minutes of the flow, just wasn't worth it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whereas I, I never minded any time I did a bit of film or film work, I didn't mind that so much because it was, you know, it wasn't it wasn't in front of an audience and all that. Oh yeah, God, you fucking mad thing, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so ephemeral to um, live theater, you know. It's like, it's, it's just there and it's gone, you know? I mean, movies and, you know, videos, it's different because there's that energy of, of it happening in the moment and then, and then you just, it's just there, solidified in this recording, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, it's totally um, extreme sport as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's your uh, jumping off yeah. the cliff. That's your um, adrenaline. Well, that's and an adrenaline. That's in your, for you. But I'm saying, for me, that would be extreme adrenaline. And I just go, no, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny coming up, what's coming up now is talking about this stuff. is like, if there's anything like, all right, Giselle, you're still here. What's, what do you want? You can do whatever you fucking want. And you don't have to worry about money or think about like, you know, just anything you want. I think I would uh, just would want to go back to acting, but acting, not, not a one woman show or that kind of thing. Just like, you know, just acting on stage, on, in a film. Yeah. There's something about that, you know. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to be an actress when I was, I've always wanted to be an actress when I was younger. I mean, since I can remember. Hmm. was like as you as you growing up in this life at least for for this this girl there's like there's so much to do and there's so many how do you, how do you pick like a police officer sounds super exciting so does a chef a doctor or you know uh an artist whatever it's like i know you become an actress because then you have you can play all these roles you know yeah. <laughs> so it's a way to just be everything that you know a murderer even you know whatever so and and my my feeling for wanting to act now is not not that but it's just that energy of, of putting on a show with other people who are also just playing a part you know yeah I mean it's it's exhilarating I would yeah. I would suggest if you're if you're <laughs> the temperament for it 
it's a certain type and I mean you'd never know doing it let's say now it might be have a different energy to it as well um, I think so yeah and but still it is a kind of an extreme thing an exciting extreme fucking thing to do yeah I mean it's let's just say it's not it's more extreme than knitting <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, be, I, I'm being non-committal. I, I, I won't be committal on it. But let's just say that. Have you met any As far as I'm concerned, it's... What's that? Have you met any knitters? I don't know. Maybe that's arguable. Well, you've made a very good point. So I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you. It could be. It could be the <laughs> It could be the secret thing. It could be the secret thing. Taking up knitting. I'm going to take up knitting. <laughs> That's the shit, like, that's, I'm gonna take up knitting now, you know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Finally found what I'm looking for. Knitting. Yeah. Let's yeah. start a, a, a knitting club on Facebook. That we can be... talk about our experiences of knitting. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you fucking do. And is there, act, is there theater companies nearby that you can? No, no. I'm, I'm like, it's like, well, hey, I want to be an actress. Well, let's move to Antarctica and make it happen. It's, it's really, I mean, that's the other part of it. It's just wishful thinking. I mean, anything's possible, of course, but the likelihood of that happening here is very unlikely. Unless you and, set up the theater company yourself and made it happen. Yeah. I did that in the past and uh, somebody else is running it and, um, and that's fine. Don't want anything to do with that. All right. <laughs> but yeah, who knows? I don't know. Mm, who knows? Yeah. I was, I was chatting to somebody else about this kind of, um, well, I'm only talking about myself now, but this kind of restlessness and this uh, still not doing anything. And I was kind of saying, sure, I find myself, when I find myself doing something, then I'll be doing it. And sure, that'd be it. That's, that's what I'd be doing, as opposed to, I could tell right. you all the things that I think I should be doing, could be doing, would right. be doing, but here at the moment I'm talking to you, and that's, that's who knows, it. you know. I keep talking about doing shit. We'll see now, do I do something, but I don't know. Yeah. Couldn't tell that's, that's also something that, that, that is a huge loss in this whole whatever happening, unhappening that, that, that this is, is there's never anything to look forward to anymore. And that was such a part of being a, a, a person, you know, with, with goals and, and plans and, and actions that, you know, there's always, whether it's, whether it's uh, the next project or whether it's the, your, your next uh, trip to, you know, some vacation, like there's nothing, there's no looking forward to anything anymore. It's like, it's just, there's just this. And um, and I think human beings are programmed for that. Like it, it can feel very, uh, whew, like what's the point of living if there's nothing to look forward to? And and that's the, that's the irony. There is no point to living because mm. there is nothing to look forward to. It's just this and and life doing this. And and when that's seen, there's like all that all that stuff is just done, you know. And is that what's is that a description of how things are when you say that? Uh, when you mean yeah, for me it does, it feels that way, yeah. I mean that you'd like that there was something to look forward to. I did like that, yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Um, but there's also a piece in 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 it as well as not having that. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Yeah, it's it's not better or worse. It's it's just that I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's the crack. That's the crack on the kill. 
Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I like your earrings with the skulls oh, on it. Yeah. yeah. These are my favorite. Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> right, you be. I better get on and do something. <laughs> what's next? <laughs> what what's have I got to do? Well, I don't know what's next. Um, uh, dinner. That's what's fucking next. Oh, right. You're, you're <laughs> That's the extent That's of what's next. It's half six here and it's dinner time. Half six, huh? Yeah, yeah good. Good. Um, um, yeah, should we be talking again? Yeah. Um, sure. Drop Something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you just go and fucking do a bit of acting and you'll have, a, you'll have something to look forward to. And dread. Wait to see. Dread. Once you're doing it, you'll fucking dread it. <laughs> I think you're that's right. something to look forward Absolutely. to. Absolutely. No. <laughs> if that's what you want. There's no need for it for that, but we'll see. It was a pleasure, my dear, yes. as always. Likewise. Send me some pics when you when you if it snows, will you send me some pics, some of your landscape around you? Of the area. I will. Um I don't think we're gonna get it this year, but I might have some on my phone from last year when it was all covered in snow, so I'll send you those. Okay, please do, yeah. Um, because I just have this I had this image in my mind of this vast, warm, all year round desert feel for where you lived. But so you get the extremes. We do, we do. We get all the seasons. It's Tequila awesome. is good all year round, though. It is. Absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite a pricey habit. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, actually, somebody was saying to me about tequila here in Ireland and the opportunity that, you know, it's taken off in the US big time. I think we were half talking about that, but it's not here yet. It's going to happen. No. When we were in a, spent a couple of weeks in the summer in Holland, um, and tequila was hardly findable. Yeah. And what you find was the crap that was priced like stupid number. So you know, when in Rome, I just would drink whiskey. I love whiskey. If I was there, I would be, I would be sipping a whiskey with you. Fuck tequila. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've got. I've got some good whiskey here. Nice. Um, yeah. You have no plans this summer to go traveling or anything like that, like you did this for. Um, no, this, for yeah, no. That was a, a family thing and um, it was paid for, which helped. So uh, I don't think so this year. Like, yeah, yeah, very sweet, very sweet. Um, I really don't know. Uh, we had to, again, it's just talk, you know, um, but we're talking about maybe in the next year maybe moving back to europe you know like oh wow renting our house here i just i miss the european lifestyle there, there's it's very different in america um for whatever reasons but i really liked living in europe and i've i've adored this the vastness the space the the quietness but i'm kind of ready for a little more action you know mm. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's 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 in the air, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fucking interesting when things are in changes in the air. It's an interesting sort of sensation. Um, yeah. Which is a is it a sensed thing again? I don't know. Ah, yeah, there you go, you sensationalist. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> a sensing club. Every word I say is bullshit. Me, me too. <laughs> Every word. <laughs> Except that one. There's one that isn't. Is there? We'll know when we hear it. We'll know when we hear it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, alas. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the All right. All right. Good, Good to talking talk. to you. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. I will you see too. you soon. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.